Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. If it's your first time, hi, I do beauty, DIY, lifestyle, vlogs, all kinds of stuff. And if you don't mind subscribing, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> a little bit of a different intro today. I try to make it like a little more welcoming to new people if we ever get new people here. So today I have a haul for you. I went to a daily deal store. Now I've been curious about these for a really long time. I've seen the building. I'm like, what is that? Don't know what she is, but I finally figured out what it was and I am so excited to tell you about it today. So a daily deals, deals with a Z at the end, it sounded, you know, like whatever. But it is a Target surplus and Amazon return facility. I've always wanted to be one of those little girlies going in there and getting all the Amazon returns. And I finally have a really big haul for you today of Amazon returns and Target surplus. Now, what I mean by Target surplus is like things that like furniture or home lifestyle stuff that came dented or the packaging's messed up or a lot of it is overstock from like the little dollar target bullseye playground when you come in that little cheap section of the front there's a lot of leftover stuff because they change it out so often and it ends up at these places and also a lot of amazon returns as well because amazon once you open everything you know they don't know what to do with your returned item and they send them to these places and they sell them for a discounted price now here is the prices the prices vary by the day for the bin items the furniture is all slightly under retail value I'd say and then it's half off that retail value in there like when you walk in the door it tells you all the furniture is half off the marked price which makes it a really good deal so the price you pay for like one chair you can get two chairs at this place and they're brand new the only thing is I hope you want a couch or single chairs sets aren't really that common there unless it's like a patio set but deals you guys the prices in there are really good and then the bins is all like the overstock of non-furniture items in there so it's all the amazon returns the leftover stuff from target stuff like that and i'm excited to share it with you today so i have a whole haul of it before we do the haul i'm going to show you the footage that i took inside of the store just to get you a feel for what the inside of the place is like there is a huge variety of things in there I personally went in there looking for two bar stools. I need two matching bar stools, preferably kind of a high bar stool because we have a screened in patio. We put a little table up there as like a little bar top situation so we could sit outside and eat if we wanted to. I needed two matching bar stools, but bar stools are expensive. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a pair of them. And then also when I went in there, I was looking for set pieces like some fake plants or things I could use to build a nice pretty set with and then organization stuff as well and then some curtain rods that's what I was looking for like just some random bits and baubles that everybody has but sometimes these things are expensive like a curtain rod at Walmart you guys is like for a long one is like $32 I'm like mm, 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 no so let's show you the footage now sorry I was rambling I just want to tell you what I was after today <laughs> Okay, so I think I got enough clips to tell you like the general like what's in there. You never know and that's what I love. I love just hunting for like, ooh, this is a really good deal. Now I went on Monday, which is today. Today I went on the $4 day. Now Sunday everything was $6. I went today at the $4 stuff. If you want the really good stuff like the food sealers and um, really good dishware and, and stuff like that, they're all going to be like the high end kind of stuff is all going to be on like the weekends the later you go in the week except for thursday when they're closed it is less good stuff but someone like me who wasn't after like a high-end ticket item, i don't i don't need like a brand new keyboard or headphones or something monday works for me just fine <laughs> and also i was really happy with the things i found today anyways so i spent 155 dollars i was expecting to spend maybe 100 with two bar stools i didn't find two matching bar stools 
and I didn't find stuff for a set, <laughs> which I needed, or like fake plants. I didn't find any fake plants or anything. But I did find some cool bits and baubles, so let's show you my haul. Okay, firstly, we have these bags. These were in like a little Amazon pouch. You could just, all the boxes and everything are opened already. You can just kind of look in there. I found these things. These are little drawstring bags, brand new, never opened. In there, I so I got a whole bunch of these. I have a small business, theopencurb.com. If you want to check it out, I'd appreciate it. And I figured sometimes when people order like a bunch of accessories, I put them in small bags. And these are perfect little drawstring bags for that purpose, black and gold already. So these are a great deal for $4. I also don't know the retail value while I'm doing this of these items. If I can find the items online at, at like Amazon or on Target's website, I will let you know the retail value of these things on the screen. I feel like I got a deal regardless. <laughs> but anyways, so that was my first $4 item. We'll do my $4 items and then we'll get to the bigger stuff that costs more money. So next up I got this little organizing container. I just always need organizer containers. There's two tall sections here and then... A section here and a section here so it's just a little organizer box i always need these for stuff so i thought that was you know fine i did get this i got a cauldron mug i love you, you guys know i love cauldron things i love spooky things this cauldron mug has like little tiny feet they have like little pedestal feet on it and a weird shaped handle um and also the only reason that it ended up in the target surplus section i could not get my hands on any of these this uh last year from target this is the last year's target design the only reason this ended up in here is because there's a little scratch right here you can see in the paint where it's not you know black it's not like it doesn't feel like a chip or anything it's just like a scratch of paint and that's why i ended up in this section <laughs> look at it it's, it's precious this is so cute it doesn't have a brand name on it i'm, I'm pretty sure this is not the one that just happened, but the one before's Target line of the cauldron mugs. I do have one of the regular last year's Target mugs as well, but all the time they come in broken, so I ordered two, I only have one. So now I have two coffin mugs, which is nice. Next up, we have a home security piece here. Now this is an LED security light with a motion sensor, multi-angle adjustable head from Lepweir, eco-friendly lifestyle things. Now our house has floodlights and motion lights all around it and cameras and stuff just because security is a big thing but the one in front of our garage the light doesn't work properly all the time so we need a new one anyways so we have this motion light here these things just adjust really well really nice arms on these to adjust the sensors and the lights it is a hardwired situation so i'd have to get my husband to do some electrical work for it but it was brand new in the box it still has the bracket stuff in here the only thing it doesn't have oh it does have it it's in here oh no it doesn't have it the only thing it doesn't have is the little round piece that you snap the camera into but at home depot that's a really cheap fix and we might actually have one from a light we took out in the house already or we could replace the you know leave the bracket on the one we're replacing in the front four dollars you guys brand new brand new and also if some of this stuff from the the bins the bin stuff the four dollar stuff doesn't work four dollars worth the risk i think next up i got another box <laughs> um so these are just some plastic tumbler cups i have eight of them here so a brand new set of eight they're all still in their plastic wrapping i just made sure they were clear so i'll open one up right now but these are just clear plastic I'm not personally a plastic cup person, but I thought these would be great that I could um, put, make sure they're all clean, nice and everything, and then put like a Cricut design on here and then sell them in my small business shop. So for $4, I have eight of these cups. So <laughs> you know my business coming soon, we have some plastic cups that I won't break in shipping, which is nice. <laughs> Next up, I have another box. <laughs> The box stuff is where the good stuff is, you guys. There's a lot of stuff out. People are just like sifting through their hands and stuff, and they don't feel like opening all the boxes because there are a lot of boxes and bags and stuff. So I feel like everybody didn't look through this stuff as much. So we got some styrofoam to secure it. And then this is one of those lights, like this picture right here, where it looks like it makes your house like an enchanted forest in there. We have the light plug here. This is meant to be a hanging pendant, so I have the plug here. Then I have the hard wire. And here is the lampshade. So it's gold on the inside, black on the front here. 
so it just reflects like the branchy pattern all over your house. So I have this and all the hardware and everything that goes with it to make it a hanging pendant. I thought maybe it'd be cute in like a hanging pendant of a corner of a room or I could attach a regular base into just basically a lampshade some hardware. I can attach it to a regular lamp base and have like spooky trees all around my room, which is super cute, you guys. I've been thinking about these for a long time. A lot of you guys tag me in that post all the time about the spooky tree branchy things. $4. Brand new never used. I think a lot of these things, when I see the things that are returned in there, they're like good stuff. I think maybe sometimes people order the wrong size of things. There's a lot of clothing in these bins too, and pillowcases and curtains and stuff. I don't feel like fumbling through all the fabric -y stuff. I'm there for the home items, but if you are looking for like curtains, shower curtains, towels, clothes, dresses, they have all that stuff there too. Also, a lot of Halloween costumes. I feel like people buy a Halloween costume on Amazon, return it, and then that just ends up there. <laughs> Next up, I have another organization thing. So I already told you I got this clear bin thing, but I got this as like a spice organizer for a drawer. Unfortunately, a lot of my drawers in my kitchen are very uh, shallow. They're not very, they don't give me much height. So this might go in a bathroom organizing situation, but these are really nice. If I had a taller kitchen and drawer, these would be great for my fragrance oils, for my wax melts. Um, I'm just not sure about the height difference, but for $4, I figured these are usually like seven, eight bucks at TJ Maxx. Okay, next box here. This was a find. Like even the lady at the checkout counter wanted to examine the box and make sure I didn't like take the like, you know, so they have some other things in there like strollers and really big appliances and stuff. And even a litter robot, which I really wanted, but it's too small for our cats. They had a lot of stuff in there that's like, you know, $20 and stuff. So there are other expensive items. I just got a lot of stuff with the $4 bins, you know, and I was also looking at the furniture. So she had to look at this and make sure this was one of the bin items because she's like, oh, this is a really good deal in here. So I have a clear glass chandelier <laughs> for $4. $4. Someone had like, this was closed and they had like ripped this open to see what was inside of here. But I pulled it out and made sure everything was in here before I left the store. But a lot of the stuff people just tear through. A lot of the stuff you'll have boxes and all the pieces aren't in there. I just make sure the pieces are in there. Because sometimes you'll find the pieces to things in the bin someone just threw out of the box, you know? There is a mess of styrofoam all over me now from it being broken. But here's our glass chandelier moments. So it comes with an LED bulb, but it's basically a clear thing. Ooh. And the bracket goes on this side. So it hangs upside down like this clear glass with bubbles chandelier. Now this isn't my perfect aesthetic. I do like the matte black top. My husband hates when I have clear lights because he can see the light bulb and he thinks it hurts his eyes. But I thought for like overhead ceiling lights of a bathroom for $4, this chandelier would be beautiful. This is glass, bubbles, nice matte black hardware. You know this cost someone some money and that's why they returned it. But it is very big. I think this is gonna be a big light. So I think overhead in the bathroom would be pretty nice. I'm actually quite surprised. I mean, maybe there was multiple and they just left one. I'm surprised this made it to the $4 day, you know, cause all the weekend it was like 10, eight, $6 and stuff. I'm surprised that made it to the $4 day. So there could have been multiple, who knows. Next up, I have a bunch of curtain rotted objects. So this is from Crafty, Crafty Graphy, Crafty Graphy, I don't know, it's a heavy duty shower curtain rod. It is silver, but I can spray paint it black or gold. I was thinking gold. This is just an extendable curtain rod that goes up to 42 to 72 inches. Big curtain rod, faux dollars, you know, <laughs> because we have no curtains in the house. We have some of the bedrooms that have blinds on them, but we don't have things like that. I typically don't like curtains because I feel like they're just collecting dust, but our bedroom gets a lot of light. And there's some other rooms that we should just have some shade going on, especially our office, which is all windows. So I figured it was good to have curtain rods, but looking at Walmart, like I said, expensive. Like even the little hooks that hold your curtain rod up, 882 at Walmart, and then $32 
for another rod and then $30 for the curtains. Like it's just a lot. So I decided this is probably the best place to find them. This one itself is from Target. This is Project 62, which is Target's brand. This was on clearance at originally $36 on clearance at Target for $18.99. They ended up at the storage Amazon surplus Target place, $4. So this has a pretty like geometric design on top. And this goes 36 to 66, finna 66 inches. Again, I could spray paint it the right color I wanted for $4, originally 36. I'm happy with it. And then the last $4 thing I got was this whole box of rods. I thought these were curtain rods. I don't know. It has like all these little holes and they're adjustable and you could attach them to each other. This, there's a whole bunch of these rods in here. Like there's like, there's three of these long metal black rods in here. There's no fancy ends to it. So even if it is curtain rod, maybe the ends were missing and that's why they returned it. But I don't need the fancy decorative ends you know like i can just have a curtain rod that's just the rod even if it's not a curtain rod you could still attach hooks to it and make it a curtain rod so for four dollars i now have three of these extra long ones especially since our bedroom window is very long i didn't know what size we needed at least that's adjustable and we can make it into a curtain rod if needed well look who walked all the way in here to join us today it's poe it's poe hi babe he's getting really good at walking he walked all the way from our office down here which is surprising he doesn't really walk very far but he seems to be okay with other cats if the other cats encounter him lately it's kind of like a hiss and run away akasha likes to play but too harsh with him you know but anyways i got two other things and these were the mega things everything else all this other stuff has been four dollars up until this point so this <laughs> it's silver i know but it's just a trash can this is from bright room it is one of this is from Bright Room. It is one of Target's brands, you know. This was $35 because there's a little dent in the back right here. I personally don't care. And I know these, these little step-on trash cans. This one's also pretty heavy. It's one of these step-on ones. These are expensive, especially the Target brand ones. But it works fine. There's still cardboard in the top of it. It has one of these uh, removable things on the inside it works really well as a soft close $35 I know I wasn't getting a better deal than that and the room where my husband's 3d printer is going doesn't have a trash can yet so I figured that'd be excellent and then the piece of resistance this was huge it's probably not exciting for most people but this was 60 bucks it was expensive I called my husband to make sure it was a good deal but we have a 75 gallon fish tank and we needed to upgrade our pump in it just to make sure everything flows and it's clean and everything's filtered. I got this name brand Marine Land very heavy big pump. This is a maintenance fast super setup Magnaflow 360 canister filter. Filters up to 360 gallons an hour for up to 100 gallon aquariums. This is enormous and so heavy. I'm have to start on my knee to even support it. But it's brand new in the box not even taken out of here like these things are still in here like it's never the thing is still sealed in the plastic in here i think someone ordered the wrong size this thing is still sealed in the plastic never been taken out even these things never been taken out filters and all and i remember when we bought our smaller one than this it was very expensive even on black friday for 60 bucks this you guys is an amazing deal now, I will say, I know the fish tank thing isn't for everyone, but in there, if you need furniture, chairs, baby stuff, especially, there's a lot of baby stuff that are there. There's like strollers and play pins and all kinds of baby stuff. I don't know what it is. And mirrors. There's just all kinds of stuff in there, you guys. It's a deal. If you're looking for something, you're like, yeah, everyone has this, but you don't want to pay everyday prices for it. Oh my God, it was such a good deal. It was such a good deal. I would love to do a lot of these haul probably wouldn't spend this much money again because i doubt i'll find something like this again but i still do need two matching bar stools don't hiss at the baby <laughs> biddy just hissed at him and he just kept on walking he's not bothered by these other big cats <laughs> but anyways that is it for my haul today you guys if you want to see another one of these hauls let me know down below because you girl your girl's willing to do that because <laughs> i got some good stuff i know some of the stuff like uh these and maybe the 
the cauldron mug and the branchy tree situation isn't for everybody, but there's so much stuff in there. There's so much stuff in there. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye, have a great day. Okay, really quick at the end here, I wanted to tell you the retail prices, everything added up of my estimated retail value of the items I got today. Remember, I spent $155 and my retail value is almost $600. It's $594.69 is all the estimated retail value. Most of the products are exact retail value for $155. That is a great deal. I know, I know some of this stuff wasn't necessary, but if you're in there looking for like you just moved or you're setting up your new apartment, things like that, it's worth it. And also this video seems sponsored, but it's definitely not. I spent my own money there. I just wanted to throw that out there. I just, I'm just hyped about a deal, you know? I like a mystery, I like a deal, this worked out. <laughs>